Now we've got to be on our best behavior. Well, we're being recorded, but actually this is an informal gathering. And it's an informal... Well, I need to come it's in gonna... with something. It's an informal gathering because it's our family gathering in Latvia, but most of it happens to be physically in Thailand. Um, but here we are. We're happy to invite the Latvians to the, to the Latvian room. Oh, look, Venu Gita. Venu Gita. Oh, she's, here. Here. she's here. She came with us. She came. Oh, she's, on the, she's on the couch. There you are. She's high. She, She's hiding behind me, shows, so she's making sure we know that she's here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. So, in the chat box, there are two chats already. How do you go, pal? Who will I translate for? <laughs> Udaran, for those who will see the recording. Yeah? Govinda, Govinda. Anyway, let us begin, because we always do, when we want to always remember, we're with devotees, we're in devotional atmosphere, we don't want to always be like super informal, but some minimum, minimum formality. Let us begin with Vandeham, as we do. Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Adakamalan Shri Guru Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajiva Sadvaitam Savarutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakam Vitam Shah. Keep on going. Oh, my God. I got the Master and we are also very grateful to Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahavaranyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya, Namne Gora Trije Namaha. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Karadha Shri Vasari Gora Vaktarinda Oh, we're stealing two, we're stealing vital, vital two vital, vital cogs of the... Now, to get everybody in difficulty. Where did it right go? She's just coming. Oh, behind me. Oh, I'm... I'm pulling it away. And Surashan Prabhu? Sure. Uh, he's a tall guy. Look, <laughs> I have to put it up on a high pedestal. Actually, Surashan Prabhu and Raiki Shori, they're very much part of keeping the programs going outside while we have abandoned the evening program to come here happily to be with you and to be with you live and to be with you um, in a recorded version also. So maybe. Maybe Surashan Prabhu, we can ask to say a couple of words first. He's freshly here. He's mm -hmm. seeing everything with devotionally tinted spectacles. And he can maybe just give you a little news from, Sud from his Sudarshan point of view. But Prabhu, please come forward. Oh, you're here. Okay, I'll tell you. This is Surashan Prabhu from Sweet Lake City, renamed, as you know, by Monindra Mohan Prabhu. In 2022, I think, <laughs> in your name. And so, uh, Surah Shampu and his wife, Raiki Shori, who you saw just now and will hear from in a moment, they'll share something for your good devotional inspiration. It's a Latvia Zoom. Yes. Most of them are on the Zoom yes. here, but also the this recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of I know I know I know it's beautiful to see your, your face, Prabhuji. And Hari Gopal. Yeah. <laughs> Namapriya. Namapriya. Krishna Chaitanya was in Ukraine. Gunali Didi. Gunali Didi. I shall write to you very soon. <laughs> I'm very grateful for your very practical gifts. 
and wonderful. Thanks for that. It is. She's everywhere. So, Suresh, a few minutes. Oh, what can I say? We just arrived uh, yesterday. And uh, really amazing, beautiful program here. Um, it's been extremely, uh, extremely amazing. This is very well attended this year. So many devotees from all over the world. Um, have not even met everybody so far, but definitely devotees from Brazil, from China, from uh, Italy, and many other places in the world. All over. Yeah, really. Um, from from England, from from really all over the world. So really, really well attended this year. Makes the Prashadam room nice and cozy. <laughs> or, um, and uh, very inspiring. Very inspired to be here, all under the guidance of Srila Madhusudan Maharaj. Of Srila Gurudev and Srila Guru Maharaj. On Guru their behalf, we are <laughs> giving a little understanding of what they expect of us. And we heard a very beautiful talk by David Shishwaguru this afternoon. Um, very much feeling, you know, the connection to Srila Shudra Maharaj, Srila Gurudev. And this great, uh, at the same time, a gift and a responsibility to always study and try to represent and spread this unique, perfect, refined connection in the line of Shema Mahaprabhu that's coming through now. And that we're meant to represent here in Chaitanya Sarasama. So feeling energized feeling inspired by being with all the devotees and at the same time feeling some strong push, some strong need to refine our own practicing life and to also uh, represent what is their will and to be what they will us to be um, in our life. Great to see you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Jai Sri Rajan Prabhu. All right. Do you want to go or do you want to stay? I think we should probably. Are you going to? I don't know. We means two of you. I mean, or, or... <laughs> okay, so we'll write this story. <laughs> oh, she, oh, she's already ready. Look, she's coming right up. She knows she's got to come near to the camera. She's ready. So, write this story. Did you say a few words? And then they're going to be our chief Kirtaniers. Well, co chiefs. We've got. Uh, several Kirtan is running. Hey, we have wonderful Kirtans going on. I'm sure you're joining. I'm sure you're there with them too. Right. I'll stop speaking. I know you're able to speak. I have a Does anyone have a question here or online that they would like to ask? I can try my best to answer it. But if anyone has a question, um, I don't know if anyone wants a question or something on your mind. <laughs> how is it uh, the two of you in the family are both devotees and how does it mean to have such an amazing connection not only physically but also on the spiritual level yeah. well first off yeah. we just have to correct we're not devotees <laughs> but we hope sometime yeah. to be that that some devotees are kind to us, right? That it's a little complicated, but <laughs> however, I can say, I mean, just like as a small, I think it's immensely helpful to practice your spiritual life with someone else. And I think it might be the only thing that actually like lets you survive it all, at least for me. Because ultimately, uh, the place that we're in is quite intense, right? Uh, birth, death, old age and disease, us, right? Which the West is very uh, <laughs> preoccupied with like the world of trauma and trying to remedy it. But we're heading towards other things even if we solved our previous traumas, there's other things that we have to contend with, right? That's that's the deal, is we're heading towards a gateway, you know, and we're we're speeding there. So it's quite intense. And if you can have something that's more important than you in your life, it's actually a great blessing. 
right? Because um, being consumed with yourself makes your world really small. Um, and so you can always have, it's an easy gauge on your life. Um, if you're feeling really unhappy, have you even thought of anyone else in your life recently? And then deeper than that, of course, is are you trying to offer your life? And if you have someone that you can share that with, it's very helpful because ultimately they're going to remind you when you forget something sometimes. And hopefully you can remind them when they forget something sometimes. And it's the same actually, like now our children are adults. And so they can also like assist us. Like, hey, remember, you know, like I said, and you're like, oh, right. Because there's a strange thing, right? Like ultimately there's all these directives that are coming of like, you know, you should practice like this and you should do this thing. And you should, you know, act like this in this circumstance. But ultimately they, they keep on boiling it down and boiling it down, boiling it down. It says, always remember him and never forget him. And one of the things you can take from that is, is a very, very like strange forgetfulness all the time. And it's very, very helpful. And you can call that person your actual well-wisher, which is like, you know, what we want is that person's reminding me of the Lord. And if it happens to be someone that you married to, that's helpful. But really, that's what we're looking for. That's why we're coming to a festival, really. So we're going, I've forgotten what my real nature is. I've forgotten what my relationship even with other people can be like my relationship with the environment, right? They're saying every tree is actually community. Everything is very conscious and I'm forgetful of that, right? And I've forgotten that I'm actually here to try and offer myself to reality. And I've gotten stuck in some loop of kind of strange, selfish, unhappy thoughts, you know? And so that, if you have someone that can help you, you can call that person a friend, right? Not just someone that makes you feel good in the moment, but um, someone that's reminding you of something much deeper. So I would say it's it's good fortune, and we want to try and be in the association of of well wishers on the path. And you know, like this, the trade secret you can say of Krishna consciousness is actually the fruit almost of Krishna consciousness is to find yourself in the association of saintly people. You know, this is like the the shortcut. And actually, even like Sri Gorbaj's words, he's always uh, emphasizing that there's shortcuts. Yeah. Right? If you if you can uh practice this type of internal posture, you can move through things faster. Mm -hmm. And so they keep emphasizing this and they won't back down, right? Like you must be in the association of the devotees and it will help you more than you could ever know. Mm -hmm. Right? Think about how much sacrifice is happening for this festival to happen. Right? Some meditation is going on in the hearts of the devotees to be able to provide the prashadam for the devotees and to care for them and the accommodations and all these things. Because they're meditating on that in their lives. And they're saying, hey, with, with these facilities that I have, what's the most auspicious thing we can do in this auspicious month, which is like noted, is we try to gather together and remember him. So I hope that helps. <laughs> And then the web was released. And Rai's best friend and husband. <laughs> Very good. Ah, oh, oh, some thoughts. <laughs> you know, uh, we all have very many experiences coming toward us that we're not aware of yet. And some of them, our current mind will call those good experiences. Some of them, our current mind will call them bad experiences. But actually, according to the Siddhanta Shuli Guru Marx, they're all good experiences. And in life, uh, at any point in time, we might find ourselves hit by a wave. And to have someone who has the same type of ideal in life that you're with, um, that's very helpful. And, you know, the ideal is everything, really. That, that's uh, the real motion of our life is to our ideal. And sometimes you forget your ideal. And sometimes you fall short of what you uh, 
wish that you would be. And to have a devotee that's with you to try to help you, hey, remember, remember what we're doing. Remember where we're going. Remember what the purpose of our life is. Remember what the big picture is, not the small picture, the big picture. Then that will help us to not be cowed down by any circumstance and to actually remember where it is that we're going and to keep our experiences in perspective. And in that way, use those experiences to help us progress in our life. Um, so I can say that that is a, a great gift. You know that at the end of a difficult day or a difficult circumstance or maybe months of difficult circumstances, we can read Sri Guru and His Grace, we can read Sir Sri Krishna, we can read sermons, we can listen to Madhusudan Mark, and we can reconnect with the higher perspective of our existence, not just as a married couple, but as two souls on a journey, hopefully, trying to serve Guru Dave in our life. So, that's yeah. what I can say. Very nice. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you. I can't see it. Sorry. I got this. I got that. Thank you. The handsome one. Oh, you're passing that to somebody else for doing it. <laughs> Nama Priya Devi, your whole family is over here. How would you like to interact with them? Oh, I'm just super happy to see almost all Latvian Sangha there with you and uh, and our best friend and well-wisher Mohan Anandaji and, uh, and our friends from US, Maharaj. And I'm following the programs. And yes. what they give, what they give is uh, is uh, enthusiasm, and uh, it is very nice to see also Dandi Maharaj with you. And yesterday, yes, yes he, he 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 shared yesterday so uh, like simply yes. and simple heartedly. Uh, he uh, praised uh, Goswami Maharaj. It's so nice to see him with the devotees, and um, and also Brazilian Sangha yesterday. They're just fountain of enthusiasm. So just happily following the programs. And Suresh also, sometimes he sends us uh, updates. How is everyone's doing? That everyone's doing their best. And I'm thinking also about this, uh, that um, how important it is to do your maximum in your spiritual life, what you can. And also what Maharaj says always, that we don't have to, we have to not lose not a single second, that minute in our spiritual life, but also... On the other hand, we have to remember that it's not like 100 meters run. It's not a short run. It's like a endless marathon. So we have to always be like on the blade of how we say this. We are always going on the edge. We have to do our maximum. At the same time, we have to understand that we're not going to reach the point tomorrow. So it's always the balance. And who can say, are we doing like really maximum? It's us. If we are sincere in our hearts, we can say that, am I doing maximum? And even if for somebody, my maximum might seem like she's doing nothing, like she's totally like fallen. So maybe my maximum is just to lay in the right direction today. So I'm just thinking about these things. I'm happy to see you all doing maximum. Wonderful. I'm glad that you're connected with us because we certainly want to make sure that everyone in the world can have a sense and a taste of what we have thoroughly enjoyed in the very early days of this mm -hmm. festival. We haven't mm -hmm. come to the main event yet. Sure yeah. sure. Which wow. um, brings me to some interesting things that I've noted, this particular yeah. festival. We have a lot of uh, new, fresh people that have come, that have uh, had a taste of um, the association of the devotees, a taste of the uh, darshan with the devotees and Maharaj in particular, mm -hmm. uh, the taste of the 
bhajans and kirtans that we are having, a taste of a communal prasada, having a taste of all that. And um, it was good to know that they felt the warmth and the love that only the devotees can give from coming from the upper level, that kind of warmth and taste that they can give. So it was very, very enriching for the spirit. And also I had the opportunities because <clears throat> Maharaj has been um, held down by this bug and this, um, you know, continuous, um, I think just uh, he's just overextended himself mm -hmm. and his body has demanded that he takes rest. And uh, thankfully he's listened to wise counsel and he's taking rest. So hopefully he'll be better for the the big program next week and then the, the bigger one that's on the road yet to come which you and Udaran Prabhu are going to join us and uh, one of the things that I had a lot of interaction with some of the new devotees is a desire to know what means Harina what means initiation how do you know that the person you are seeing in the flesh is the master you want to follow for these eternal times. So that was good because I have had this experience firstly with the presence in the presence of Sri Maharaj and then also again in the presence of Gurudev and so I can give some, I think, some valued experience and knowledge in this that Sadhu, Sangha, Shastra, mm -hmm. the three things that um, is evidence of the right person. Shastra mm -hmm. tells you clearly how a person of that caliber, of that personality, will conduct himself or should conduct himself. And then is the Sangha, the association, what kind of association is around him? How does he deal with them implicitly and explicitly? And of course, we can observe that very clearly. And we can also hear from the association of what they actually think of that personality of that particular sadhu. And finally, the sadhu himself. How does that sadhu himself conduct himself privately and publicly? So all these three things is given to us in a clear instruction in Sri Guru and his grace by none other than our beloved Silasira Maharaj. So I shared this with them and uh, I tried to inspire them that not to lose this this lifetime opportunity that when you are in the presence of a saintly person consider that a good fortune for yourself consider that an opportunity that you must seize the moment you must grab it you must have faith and you must have trust and so hopefully uh, they have uh, they have um, found uh, found that the, the 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 ability to see that they can feel it to use their intuition because that's what we all know our in our heart it's like falling in love you know it's like falling in love you fall in love you know it and you're desperate for it and you want it and you don't care what's the price you might pay you might get your heart broken but you know you want to taste that love. So we shared that. So that was very good in the last uh, two or three days because devotees have approached with questions themselves. So when they ask this question, then there is a hankering and they want, there is a want. And then this want grows day by day by day because of the association of the devotees, because of the bhajans, kirtans, and the prasadam, the mercy is flowing. Mercy is flowing from... Uh, Grace is coming from the top. Grace is coming down upon them. 
And then the gravity that's coming down from the bottom is holding them strong. And between gravity and grace, I hope that they will be able to consolidate within them, build a foundation and step forward and take birth. And so I hope, I pray to Sri Guru and Sri Krishna that in a few days time, our family will grow. <laughs> this is my uh, anticipation. Yeah. I hope that right. happens because uh, it will enrich all of us. Not only those people who are taking Arina, but also enrich all of us. Anyhow, I just wanted to share yeah. that. It does it. <laughs> oh, I enrich all of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm talking to the converted there. Sorry. <laughs> And Gunali Didi, so good to see you. As I say, much appreciation for your very practical gifts. I'll send you a note. It looks beautiful there in St. Petersburg. Is that St. Petersburg? Gunali is in St. Petersburg. Uh, just around the corner from, uh, from Latvia, just up the road. Yeah. Latvia is a beautiful day. Riga, Hariko Pabubu. Namapriya, yes. Oh, look, oh. Ari Gopal is in the sun. Uh, in the sun. Yeah, look, look, this is St. Petersburg. Wow. You've got our, <coughs> our sun. <laughs> it, was here, it was here before. Okay. okay, they will speak with you just now. Speak directly to them in... Uh... In, in Russian. In yeah, no, speak in your, your own yeah, yeah, I understand fully, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> love is love. And what dear devotees, as Namapriya said, periodically I'm sending some updates about what's happening, but last few days I'm not sharing anything. Everything was quite intense. I'd like to say that, yes, every day, every day everything starts anew. We're doing the same things, but first few days we had to adapt a little after all the travels, but every day it's like a growing, growing and some internal inspiration is coming, some internal work is going on, some work of tolerance, humility, and I'm thinking our new friends that have come, they are also getting some insights and everything is happening. So, I don't know why, but everything around me is saying that I don't want to say uh, do not miss this moment is what I'm getting because Kartika because Kartika all the spiritual desires are multiplied by 10,000 times and I can personally share when I was multiple times in Vrindavan and I was wishing for spiritual growth and the Lord, He fulfilled that wish. But the mercy of Guru now is especially prominent. Every day the kirtans are better and better. Every day the reading is deeper and uh, ever new. Today we were reading Chaitanya Chiritamrita, by the way, and I was, I was, they're reading Chaitanya Chiritamrita. They already read it many, many times in their 30, 40 years of practice. But after reading one line, and they're like children, inspired and affectionately reading as if they're reading for the first time. And it was very sweet to see that that this knowledge, this path is always new, ever new. And although we might be doing the same thing, we're waking up for the program, prasadam, doing some seva. After seva, we go prasadam. After prasadam, we go seva, etc. 
then we talk then we go to dinner then program and and every day the program is the same but the fulfillment is growing and growing so this is what i'm thinking about over here maybe someone else would like to everybody share your experience especially those of you who've not been here before share your experience <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. Share your experience. Only shine. Very good. Yeah. to everyone. Yes, I would like to tell about. Here, I'm think I'm hearing from the senior devotees, and mostly, it's about who is Guru. What is this energy? What is this? And how how much we are how much we need him. Everyone who we talked with, formal, informal, they're from the heart saying that without the guru, I am nobody. This personal connection, this this was important for me, this personal relationship. This gives that type of enthusiasm which they have. But without that, everything becomes abstract and everything is kind of like a like something theoretical from, from a book. And this was a key moment for me. And this is what is inspiring me right now. This is opening up for me into something more adult-like, more serious, more grown-up spiritual life. Because we know those people 20-30 years are at every step and at every step they're talking about the most important factor who is holding them and everything they're getting is in that way and no other way. This is, I can't say it's some theoretical, I've theoretically I've heard it many times, but first, now it has started to settle inside, therefore it is very, uh, very valuable, this, this kind of realization in the past few days, mm, when Dandi Maharaj was talking he was talking specifically about this and i remember you were asking questions and dandi maraj very humanely very simply was trying to say how much he loves goswami maharaj how much he feels his love it's not like some guru is giving initiation this is something practical saying how much my guru loves me and, and Paramananda Prabhu was also talking about this. Bhakti Lalita was also. They were all turning us in that direction. Um, Shri told me about uh, uh, the Guru. I'm joining that. This is also an insight for me. With what Paramananda and Bhakti Lalita said, the meaning of Guru, and I can say that this is also quite a new insight for me, because in the beginning I was just kind of getting this connection. But also for myself, I would like to add, when I was traveling here, it was quite a long journey, 24 hours in the plane. And in the plane, I caught myself thinking, oh my God, I will never go to Thailand again. I will never, I never want to go through this stress and so on. But when I arrived here, surrounded by devotees, I forgot all of that. I forgot all of that suffering. And I would like to add that the meaning of the surrounding devotees is very meaningful for me because I am just I'm kind of starting my connection with Maharaj 
какие могут быть вообще у тебя вопросы? You know, and I'm thinking, what kind of questions can you even have? You are already here. And also a very big meaning was service for me, seva. We, my seva was to, to clean the leaves. Every and it's horrible because every morning it's as if nobody has done anything. Sometimes it takes three hours, sometimes it's four hours, and we're and in this work, I'm having some internal work. I would like to. I I really want to throw throw my tools away and just leave. But the girls are helping me and. You know, today Ludmila, uh, uh, everyone was already kind of crawling around, almost giving up, but, but Ludmila is like, what's all strong and energetic and our collective, our collective work is about this, when we have our surroundings, they can help us, they can inspire us. And even in this type of work, you can accept work on your ego, work on your things that irritate you, on your physical tiredness, fatigue, you know, you're sweating, you want to shower, you just want to disappear from all this heat. But after you've finished all this service, you feel this goodness. You feel this uh, unreal connection. You do not even know how that will unpack inside of you later on. And, and thanks to my surroundings, my, my association, just to be with the devotees, this, this goodness mood. Mm, I would like to add, I would like to add, about sir, seva today seva my insight was that while we were cleaning oh dear how low i am what? who is gonna clean these leaves uh, so, so i would also like to add about the leaves when we are cleaning the leaves away, there is small leaves, big leaves, some branches, some are very small, and you're gathering the big ones, and you're thinking, oh, here I am, I am cleaning the dirt from all of my heart, but some small pieces are being left behind, which you're not able to, like, rake with a, with a big rake. And you take a smaller rake and you continue cleaning, but still some small bits are being left. But the main part is, it was interesting that you come tomorrow and then fully renewed dirt is there. As our heart is full of dirt and you just keep on cleaning, keep on cleaning with no stopping to fully cleanse it and only by the mercy of Guru it's possible to fully cleanse that dirt very wonderful that you've come to the zoo big uh, it's a very big fortune to be together across the globe with the devotees to it's very wonderful to do some service some cleaning pots cleaning the leaves Lord Krishna, he did that, he made it so that the devotees here from China, Latvia, London, Italy, US, Australia, New Zealand, Britain, Russia, 
Сатали, вы можете, вы можете, себе, you, можете себе вдуматься you, каждый... Like... Think about that. All the people that have come, they are devotees, and they can share their experience. Everyone has open hearts. Huh? Prasadam is amazing. It's uh, filling, and it's rich and tasty, and I'm feeling a little uncomfortable that it, maybe it's there feeding me so nicely, maybe I should do some service. Today, maybe eight of us, we tried to... We decided to build a temple, and we decided with a small hole, and eight people with simple tools, we, we, we were trying really hard, and we dug a whopping 40-centimeter hole deep. It was, it, was, it, was, uh, it was funny, and it's some even, but it was a big feeling of goodness that this service is giving, giving something. It's very healthy, everyone, sweat was... Uh, <laughs> they got a, got a good sweat out of it. Mm. And if there is some opportunity to come to the retreat, and if there is a choice between a job to earn some money and and uh, retreat, please try to go to the retreat because it's very... It's hard to describe with words, but... You are swimming in love. Everything is very spiritual, healthy. Everything is very... <laughs> A lot of love surrounded by affection and very warm association, which you cannot... which you might not even get with your close family members. Done the lot. Miss Yoga. Miss Yoga. She's doing yoga. Yes, Apart from the fact that I'm, I've made many yoga videos, which I put out in TikTok and Instagram, and I've talked with a lot of, with a lot of people who have a lot more experience, happiness, more material fortune, and much more of everything that I have. And this was very, uh, very nice for me to hear from them. Very, because I would like to try to find a balance between the material life and spiritual life. And today, I got a good realization that if you're following your path and the Lord is leading you, then everything will be good. You will be fulfilled, and you will have the spiritual progress. And with these leaves, as many said, but today. I was really happy to do it. Tanushri. What is, and she's telling me, what is Seva? Why do we need it? What is Sukriti? Why we need everything? All these, just all these conversations with this simple service. It's amazing. And I'm almost fully accustomed to spicy food. And it's just amazing and wonderful. We're all in the most beautiful places in the world, which I've seen. Everything feels beautiful and is beautiful, and I'm just grateful. Hare Krishna. Hello, hello. Привет, Дава. <laughs> a lot was said, but I'm, I'm seeing the devotees, and I'm just seeing how much they are devoting, and how much longer I have to go to become like they are. And it's, uh, as I 
as I told Suresh and Madhusudan Maharaj, I told him, I have come into heaven. Have, everyone is taking care of you, helping you. Everything is here, everything you need. The good weather you're enjoying. Can you? I was I was even asking, can you enjoy? Can you even enjoy this? But um, I like it very much, and I yes. And Anton. No, you must at least say hello. Just say hello. That's all. And just say hello. Just say hello. Ah. Good evening to everyone. I am in the process of this long path journey so that this light would come to me, these thoughts. We'll wait for this. <laughs> I think he's saying I'm on I'm on the on this way and I'm waiting for the light when when this light will come in oh, good wonderful Horoshan. wonderful <laughs> nice very touching yes what kind of comment yeah. have you given Harry yeah. Gopal yeah. not impressed with the whole she don't know it hmm? but she don't know it. Next time yeah. you come to Vila Govinda, we're going to give you a hole to dig. <laughs> How many devotees? Four devotees, maybe. It's like rock solid. Rock solid. Okay. I'm sure there's a deeper meaning behind your expression. <laughs> All right. Between each other, please ask something. Oh, look, Nadia Sundar is joined also. She oh, said. my daughter is there. Daughter, yeah, daughter, your daughter. daughter. My Ukrainian daughter is there. there. You go. There's your dad. Hello, darling. <laughs> your daddy loves you. <laughs> my Ukrainian daughter. <laughs> look after me, number one. I wish I wish I was Please share with your news. What what is happens in Riga, Hari Gopal, Lama Priya, Udaram Prabhu? How is Hari Gopal's program in Riga? Uh, yes, how is going in Riga, Hari Gopal's program? Hari Gopal cannot speak because he is translating, but I can, ah. can uh, talk on the behalf of him. Yeah. So today Hari Gopal invited me to his daily programs. He decided to make uh, programs every day while we Kartik uh, time yeah, and uh, yes I happily agreed and possibly tomorrow we'll come to Harigopal flat to make home program there and um, what else uh, actually yes by heart I'm feeling that I'm with you there I'm not not my body is here in Latvia but uh, my heart is there and I also watching all this, okay. not all the streams, but when I have a time, I was watching, and uh, today was a really wonderful program with Devashish Prabhu, and um, I was really happy to hear him again because he spoke as always from the heart, from his experience, and uh, so what, what can I add? I'm actually best speaker. I I am good listener, but best speaker. So please forgive me. Jai. I'm happy to know you with us. Yes. Has anyone there got any questions for us about the program or just in life in general? Question for Mohan and Andy. Yes, I'm happy to answer. Tonight, all my answers are free. So the same appear to be spotted. <laughs> As usual. Wow. Huh? No. Tonight is free. Uh, 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 somebody can make the uh, uh, <laughs> Sometimes it's first question. Ah, first question. Yeah, yeah. Free. But tonight all is free. Discount, yeah. Discount, discount tonight. <laughs> Indian <laughs> special. It's really so many Indian kicker. To what Mohan said in the beginning, you were saying about these three things, like how can we know that uh, we have our teacher before us? But you know, many many like times I've I've heard that uh, 
like um people are kind of expecting you know like fireworks they see their guru and they're expecting kind of like fireworks like happening and then otherwise they don't know that is their guru they're thinking oh maybe not but actually what i heard from keshavananda prabhu when he first even met uh govinda maharaj he didn't feel no fireworks so what do you what can you say about this like if i don't feel like in my heart that some miracle is happening is it still can it still be my guru Yes, of course, because, uh, you know, we all have a heart. All of us have a heart, but not all of our hearts pump the same way. You know, some things excite us immediately. Some things don't excite. All right, you go with, go with your whole family to see a movie. Not all of you have the same reaction. You know, some get overexcited, some don't. So in the same energetic field, when you want to meet your spiritual master or the divine light or, you know, someone who's very super important or make an impact in your life, sometimes you don't even know. It can just happen like that. And sometimes it takes time to grow because some people are very introverted. It takes time for them to open up. Some people are very frightened. Some people are really frightened to meet the light. Because they think that if they meet the light, suddenly their life is going to be chaos. Mm -hmm. But it isn't like that. The light will not come to you to give you chaos. The light comes to you to remove chaos. That's the subtlety. That's the difference. So it takes time for some of us to understand these things. And so with Keshwananda, it had no reaction. But then he had the reaction, and look what a wonderful devotee we have with us. You know? I mean, now he's so electrified. You can't think that this is the same Keshavananda that they didn't get fired up when he met Gurudev. But look how fired up he is now. That's more important. That you see the light, and you can go with the light for the rest of your life. That's important. Not to see the light and then go and run and hide somewhere. So it all takes... Uh, the wills of Krishna is geared to the individual. That is the peculiar thing about Vaishnavism, but at the same time, a very endearing quality of Vaishnavism. That the right of the individual is paramount. The right of the individual is paramount. Krishna respects your right to embrace him or reject him. That's an individual right. So in the same way, some of us will get the immediate reaction, immediate impact, and for some of us, we take the dose of connection and then it grows. Like that. So it should not be a criteria that I don't feel fireworks. It must be not my guru. If you have expectations, then be prepared for disappointments. Mm. That's, if the expectation is like this, the disappointment is like this. Mm. If there is this expectation, then disappointment is like this. Right. And you also need to consider whether your antenna is tuning in sharply or your antenna is retracted, gone down because of your fear. So you don't want to open up. Some people are very frightened of opening up, you know. It's they 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 it's like a, an oyster, you know. An oyster doesn't want to open up because it's afraid it is going to lose the pearl. So you have to open it up and say, look, it's okay. You can keep your pearl. Thank you. And carry on. Because we don't hurt anything. Krishna is not about hurting anything. The love of Krishna, the love of the Lord, is to come into your life to make it more meaningful and joyful for you. That's what it is. I hope that answers your... Yes, so nice, Mohan. So nice. Appreciation. Yeah.
Questions are still free all night. Are we still got time, Marge, or are we? Um... I don't know what time. Uh, I do not know. I can't tell. Yeah. Oh, okay. And by the way, I mean, I do apologize for not speaking, but yeah. it's good that they're here because I need to rest the throat. It's just been something going on day by day. And we're just trying to get it kicked out and finished. So, excused, but I'm hearing everything and I'm with the devotees, I'm with you. Also in, on the other side of the Zoom, but on this side of the Zoom, you've got your royal representation. And so, kindly excuse this week, I'm on the quiet side. <laughs> <laughs> Give our love to all the Latvians that I haven't seen on Zoom, yes. right? Amiya Bala and uh, and Madura Leela and all of them. Give them all our love. Mm -hmm. Special purple love. Purple love is coming to Latvia. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I would like to add that it's very nice. <laughs> when we are working, working. I would like to add that I like that we're working, working, and people are walking by. And they're not walking by, they're, they're helping. They're starting to personally search for tools to rake. I'm thinking these leaves are something else. This is some quite the seva, the, like a mantra. You have to do it every morning. Ah, the artist, artist doing collecting the leaves. And what I would like to say is just the beginning. One one week, we we here only one week, one week left. In 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 the before. In front of us, one week more. Okay, right. And one I, week has gone, yes. and one more to come. And, yeah. Yes, and culmination is uh, Shil Shilal Maharaj Shapiran's day. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. And please, you try to do something there nicely. Yes. Hari Gopal, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Maharaj is suggesting you guys get together and have a festival on next Saturday. Yes. For Guru, Guru Maharaj's satisfaction. For Guru Maharaj's satisfaction. He will note and Guru Dev's satisfaction. And Guru Dev's satisfaction. For sure. Yes. And for your own personal satisfaction too. Because it will be very nourishing all to get together anyway. Always good to be in the association of the devotees. Okay, then we that, can join. Okay. So we say good night to you for now until we meet again. And we meet again next week. And we meet no, again. No, 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 no. We will skip next week because in this time we will be in an airplane. In an airplane. Oh dear. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so until we meet again next week. They'll be with us on the. <laughs> ah, yes. Then we will meet. We will be on the Zoom and you will live together. Yes. They, they'll see us on the. Okay. I don't know what the Zoom is, but on. Oh, we'll be having a Zoom when we are in Mauritius. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. They got the clock. They yep. will make it. They'll adjust it. Yeah, yeah, we will be doing that. So we say all yeah. glories to my dear, beloved friend, Sripad Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj. Ki Ja. Uh, bill of the uh, Jai, 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 Jai,
Ben şaka yapmadım. Tabii ben şaka yapmadım. Ben şaka yapmadım. Ben şaka yapmadım. Ben şaka yapmadım. Namo namaha. Govinda Govinda. Govinda Govinda. Gopal Gopal. You have to, I can't see or find or anything. I don't know.